Heritage Point is proud to honor its resident World War II veterans and Holocaust survivors. These are our true heroes. Our veterans sacrificed years of their lives to liberate the world and they asked for nothing in return. Those who survived, their lives and legacies are gifts for all of us to cherish. Each veteran and survivor has a unique story of a time and a place that for many of us seems unimaginable. It simply isn't enough to hold their medals, to see the black and white photos, and to read about them in history books. It is through their words that their stories will remain alive and never be forgotten. Each of these people are part of the light that was brought to Europe to fight a darkness unlike any that the modern world has ever seen. We must never forget. We must never forget the veterans and the survivors, the men, women, and children that gave everything so that we can live in a free world. Even though today these Jewish heroes are spread out throughout the world, we are blessed to have many of them living among our community as part of our Heritage Point family. Heritage Point honors these men and women and is proud to share their stories in their own words so that the world will never forget their sacrifice, their heroic efforts, and what they have done to ensure freedom for all of us. Each of these people have an amazing story of heroic survival. And here are just a few of the stories. A lot of cattle wagons are being gathered on the station. And the rumors were that they're all going either to Belzec, Majdanek, or Sibobo. And so it was on Saturday afternoon. I just took a pillowcase. I put on my tefillin and an extra shirt. And in the front of everybody, I said, I'm leaving. And I think if everybody should go in a different direction, maybe some of us will stay alive. I didn't say goodbye, I left. And I went into the, deep into the forest in the Carpathian Mountains. So I picked an area with a tall tree and it was very dense. And I crawled up to, on the top. I came to the top, I was sitting on the branches was the main trunk between my legs. And I was getting tired, so I took out the film and I tied myself to the tree and I fell asleep. We were sent to a concentration camp closer into Poland called Plaszów. And that's where I, like a miracle, I was reunited with my mother. We were supposed to be sent to um, Brunlitz in Czechoslovakia. But on the way, somehow, we were sidetracked and we ended up in Auschwitz. That's when Schindler's List comes in. Somehow, he managed to get us out by name into Czechoslovakia. And that's how my mother and I survived, thanks to Schindler. They started making laws against the Jews and I had to go to France, work on the French coast, building bunkers against the English. The Gestapo came, they said, we are finished here with work, we are going now to Malin, and you're gonna be reunited with your family. The Germans always bluffed. Whatever they told, it was a lie. They never, never did say anything which was a word the truth. I went over to the window, and I can hear voices, but I don't know if you're Jewish or not, or German. I said, well, I'll open the door and whatever happens, let it be the end. I went out and I hear Jewish voices. 
and I, I screamed, Hevre. He said, you see those on the horses? Those are partisans. After being a year in the partisans, came a Jewish group of 150 people, all with ammunition. In the ghetto, I volunteered to be a nurse. The baddest thing was when we got to Auschwitz, and Mengele was greeted us, left, right, left, right. So when it came to, to my sister, she was saying left, it's okay because she's gonna live. And my mother said, you go, go with Ethel. No mother, I have to stay with my patients. And she pushed me. And as I was running, she really pushed me, so I had to go to my sister. Mengele stopped me. She says, where are you going? He says, well, I'm going to see my sister. Turn around, yeah. How old are you? 19. Okay, go. That's the last time I saw my parents. It's important that we honor the, the veterans and the Holocaust survivors. It's a time to recognize them if it had not been for them, the world would have been a much worse and darker place. We went over on the Mary, as a matter of fact, and we were sleeping on E deck in a dried up swimming pool. There were 23,000 people on that ship. And when they saw land, everybody went to the starboard side. Oh my God, the captain made an announcement get back, get back, go on to the port side. You capsize the ship. She wanted to have a baby in case anything happened to me. So I had this little baby girl born and that I had never seen. I didn't get a picture of her. When they gave us leave and I went back to Springfield and I knocked on the door and my mother-in-law came and she said, Dorothy, it's Bob, he's fat. I was drafted into the army I was in a tent and I heard a sputter of a, of a plane and I ran out of the tent and looked up and I saw this Piper Cub out of control and landed in the tree. I climbed the tree and we hoisted three of the wounded men down. The plane was leaking gasoline so I had some officers on the ground stopping everybody from smoking. What's truly incredible is that our resident veterans who liberated our resident Holocaust survivors are living as friends at Heritage Point and truly enjoying each other and life every day. The people are just wonderful. They're very nice. Everybody's friendly. Everybody greets you. He found Heritage Point and said, this is the place for you, Dad. It has a synagogue and it has a swimming pool. Because it's Jewish, because the people are nice, and where can you find better people? Jews are brought up with tzedakah, tzedakah, tzedakah. If someone asked me uh, if they should put their, their mother, or their father, or aunt, uncle, whomever, into Heritage Point, I would absolutely encourage it. I would volunteer to take them down there and introduce them to people. It was very important walking in and seeing the synagogue. I'm not religious, like I said, but it brought back the Jewish kite. When they told me that it's all Jewish, then I said, this is the place for me in my life. I fought, I survived because I was Jewish. And here I will be between my brothers and sisters. On behalf of all of our residents, past, present, and future, and all of you who have been part of the Heritage Point family, thank you for all that you do to keep the legacy of Heritage Point alive, bringing it from one generation to the next. <laughs>